Revenge Films. My husband and I both worked full time, and we have a son that goes to kindergarten. I understand the importance of saving up because raising a child is very expensive. But my husband doesn't seem to see things in the same way. I'm not feeling well, so I'm taking the day off of work today. Again? You took off yesterday too as well, and you spent the entire day in bed. Well, I can't help how I feel. I can't go into work feeling like this. To be honest, he didn't look sick to me at all. I bet he was just too lazy to go to work. My husband is an adult. I can't force him to go to work. Because my husband wasn't serious about his work, he didn't make that much money either. That's why we had just enough money to get by. Whenever my husband took the day off, he would spend the day playing video games. And sometimes he would say, I feel better now, so I'm going out for a bit. This irritated me a lot, and we fought about it often. My days consisted of dropping off our son at kindergarten and then going into the office to work for a full day. My husband didn't help me with the household chores either. He also bought himself a lot of nice things. He told me that they were rewards for working hard every day. Anytime his credit card bill arrived, we would fight about it because he spent a ridiculous amount of money on materialistic items. There were times when I took his credit card away from him, but he would look around our house until he found it. And I was always the one that had to clean the house after he made a mess of it. I would get mad about this, but then he would say, You're the one who took my credit card and hid it from me! This isn't my fault! I decided that it was useless for me to hide his credit card because it ended up being more work for me. I was so busy taking care of our son and working full time. I also had to take care of the house. I didn't have time to be arguing with my stupid husband because I want to save up for my son's education. I don't want to buy any nice things for myself. Before I got married, I used to own a lot of beautiful clothes and go out with my friends, but not anymore. But I still want to buy nice things for my son. He meant the world to me. I didn't want to spoil him, but I bought him almost all the things that he said he wanted. One day, we all gathered at my parents-in-law's place. Our family of three drove to the house. The men of the family gathered around the table and caught up over some beers, and the women of the family were in the kitchen preparing food for everyone to eat. My parents-in-laws were out doing some last-minute shopping, and the children were having fun playing with each other. It's so unfair that our husbands get to enjoy beers while we sleep away in the kitchen. I agree. Don't you think we deserve some time to relax as well? Our husbands were tipsy from the beer, and they were talking so loudly that we could hear parts of their conversation from the kitchen. My husband was a lightweight, so I could tell that he was pretty drunk, and at this point he seemed to be having a nice time. At one point, my husband looked my way and pointed at me, then laughed. <laughs> Do you feel sorry for me? I have to see that ugly face every day! Everyone in the kitchen heard this, but they were trying to be polite and let it pass. My husband continued to criticize me. The wives of my neighbors are all very pretty. I'm the only one married to such a loser. My wife doesn't wear makeup, and she wears hideous clothes. Don't you think that she should make more of an effort for me? I could feel the anger boiling up inside me. I went over to my husband and yanked the beer out of his hand. Then I poured the beer on top of his head. My husband was in shock and didn't say anything more. After a while, he turned over to me and started yelling. What the hell do you think you're doing? You started this! You made fun of me in front of all of your relatives! I was only being honest! I can't stand to look at your ugly face! What's wrong with telling an ugly person the truth? The reason why I'm not wearing any makeup or nice clothes is because you don't make enough money, you asshole! Hey, how can you say that this is my fault? I showed him our credit card bills saved in my smartphone. Look how much money you spend on yourself! Because you overspend our money. I don't have any money to buy makeup or ever go to the hairdresser. If you spend your money more wisely, I may be able to buy nice things for myself once in a while. I work hard for our family. How is it that we don't have enough money? You only give me $50 a month. What am I supposed to do with such a small amount? And I know that you take days off work, not because you're sick, but because you want to go gambling. How do you know about that? I thought that you were on the executive board of your company, and that you were really busy with work. I couldn't believe this. My husband was lying to his cousins about the job he had. I was now certain that he was lying about the whole bunch of other stuff too. My husband is lying. He has no title at work and he plays hooky all the time. His manager is annoyed with my husband for his poor performance, and they're demoting him next month. Hey, who told you that? My manager didn't say anything like that to me? Well, maybe your manager couldn't tell you because you're never at work. So I'm no longer an employee? 
just a contractor? And you told your cousins earlier that you weren't happy being married to a loser like me. But I could say the same thing about you. You barely work and take no part in raising our son. You're selfish and self-centered. How dare you say that to me! I continued to be married to you because I didn't want our son to grow up without a father. But I've had enough. I'm leaving you! Our relatives were speechless. They just watched us in a daze. You're making the right choice in leaving this loser. It's better for your son to grow up without a father rather than with a shitty father. Your son has a great mother. That's enough to keep him happy. In the middle of all this, my husband's parents came home. One of my husband's cousins explained the situation to them. Son! I can't believe that you've been slacking off of work! What's the matter with you? Well, um... My husband had difficulty answering his father's questions. I showed my father-in-law the credit card bills and informed him that his son had been cutting work regularly. My father-in-law was furious when he found this out about his son. How could you do this to your poor family? You shouldn't be wasting money on materialistic things or gambling when the money could be put to good use, like your son's education. You owe Karen an apology! Even if my husband had apologized to me, I wasn't going to forgive him. I had made up my mind about the divorce. I'm sorry I have to say this, but I'm leaving your son. Wait! We haven't even talked about this yet! I don't want to lose my family over this! I'm sorry! I don't make enough money to even support myself! And I don't have the time to take care of the household chores by myself! My father-in-law saw how selfish his son was being and slapped his son in the face out of anger. Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth?! All you care about is yourself! Grow up! Karen is smart to leave you! That's right. You don't make enough money, yet you've been spending like some self-righteous person. To provide no support to Karen, she's much better off without you. My husband was now in a completely different position. Earlier he was drinking and laughing with his cousins, and now everybody looked at him like he was the enemy. You did this to yourself, man! You should have treated your family better! I said goodbye to my parents-in-law and went home to pack up my things so that I could move into a new place with my son. My husband didn't know what to do. Karen, I'm sorry for being a lousy husband. I promised to change for the better. Could you please consider taking me back? I didn't care what he had to say. I was annoyed that he didn't treat me with respect, but the bigger reason was his frivolous spending. He seemed to have no idea why I was leaving him. That alone was a good enough reason to break up with him. Until I found a new apartment for my son and I, we were going to stay with my parents. My parents-in-law agreed to get my ex-husband to pay me $10,000 in alimony and child support. That was a lot of money for my ex-husband because he didn't make that much. He had no choice but to move back with his parents in order to cut his living expenses. His parents took his credit card away from him so that my ex-husband couldn't buy unnecessary things. He was also forced to work at his parents' transportation company where the work hours were very long. My ex-husband got what he deserved in the end. I hope he now understands what it means to work hard for a living. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.